you know, like you can check my email address, I think, from the faculty website. I think maybe yeah, so you can also send me email if like you found no PowerPoint upload and you can let me know. I will try to yeah remember so to put okay, uh, my PowerPoint. Okay. Uh, I think we all study about what biodiversity is, like in junior high school, high school. In Japan, we study in junior high school in science course, the uh, students study in high school in biology course, uh, we study. Do you, you also study about this? What is biodiversity? Like if, if I ask you this question, uh, what will be your answer? What is biodiversity or biological diversity? What will be your, anybody wants to share your answer? What, what is the existence of different living beings. Okay, different living beings in the environment. Yeah. Uh, when you say different living beings, animals and plants. Animals and plants. Okay, okay. sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Any anything else? Something like that. Different kind of animals, plants. Okay. Um, basically, we def there are many definitions, but the uh, famous definition is. We have three different kinds of biodiversity. Genetic biodiversity, population species diversity, and the ecosystem diversity. Or we also say landscape diversity. Uh, the one you just answered is more like uh, species diversity. Uh, we have different animals, plants, different species, uh, like lion, tigers, those are different species, that's biodiversity. But also, we have different ecosystem. Here in Ibaraki city, we have mountain, forest, uh, many different things. Uh, that those are different landscape. We also uh, think that is also like Also, uh, we uh, the reason why we all look different, although we are same species, Homo sapiens, is because uh, of genetic difference among individuals. Uh, so three different kind of biodiversity. Or we can just say some total of living all living things, and it shows how rich our living world is. Uh, what is this? Wolf? Yeah, are they all wolf? Wolf. Yeah, yes. Okay, we have a black one and the gray one. They are, all, they are all the same species. Good. In fact, they are not only the same species, but they are the same pack, same family, brothers, sisters. So even same uh, family, they look so different. Sometimes they look black, and this is because as I said, uh, of uh, genetic difference. Do you know the species? We have this, uh, looks like wolf, but a bit smaller than uh, fox. wolf. Fox. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, in not actually, this is coyote, and then we have fox. Yeah, yeah fox is more, much, much smaller. And uh, yeah, orange. And uh, it is easy for us to distinguish difference between wolf and the Fox are not worth and coyote. Even experts, uh, it is difficult to distinguish the difference between coyote and wolf just from appearance. Uh, but they are different species. Uh, it, any uh, guess or any answer about uh, how, how do we differentiate species? But how do we uh, understand that these are different species? Classification. Classification by by what? By physical. Oh, that's one thing. So physically speaking, uh, looks similar. Although, as I said, coyote and uh, wolf uh, looks very similar. Uh, so it's hard to actually just distinguish just from uh, appearance. But then any other opinions? Genetic. Um, Genetic makeup. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. That's also correct. It, it, Easier way to distinguish. Sounds. 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 Generally speaking, wolf and coyote cannot uh, breed oh, and have offspring. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we are different from uh, chimpanzees. I don't want to talk uh, in detail about this, but uh, only homo sapiens. 
and we can have uh, offspring. So uh, that's also another uh, difference. But a different, difficult thing about science is uh, sometimes something happens we don't expect. Uh, Wolf and coyote sometimes 